from go-karting to the World Rally Championship and the big league of Formula One, motor racing continues to attract and thrill spectators around the world. It's no different here, not even in the farthest flung corners of the Karoo. In fact, a normally quiet little town's passion for racing on four wheels has earned it a mention in the Guinness Book of Records. McFarlane went to investigate a race that truly is down to the wire. In the eastern Karoo, about 250 kilometers south of Kimberley, lies Phillipstown. Established in 1863 by the Reformed Church, it has a colorful history. But these days, the town seems to have been forgotten by the 21st century. I bet many of you have never been to or even heard of Phillipstown. And why would you? Nothing usually happens here. But today is different. Today is the day the whole town has been looking forward to. And not even the early morning thunderstorm can dampen the spirits. These kids come from all over the district to take part in the annual Drathgaard Grand Prix. There's no entry fee and everyone under the age of 18 is welcome to participate. The only requirement is a wire car and a willingness to have fun. So, Phillipstown is a buzz. The contestants are ready, their cars are revved and ready to roar. But I guess the true test will be as beautiful as the car is, will it really be a winner? But the day is not just about who is the fastest. Expert craftsmanship is also rewarded. And from the word go, it is clear the judges will have their work cut out for them. So the Ford of a chef, the Dodge, Toyota, what is this? Here is the Polo. And there's no shortage of imagination when it comes to building the car of your dreams. The bow here you see it, and then this side here, this side here, now this side here, the four. Have you yourself built? With draad and all? How long have you been doing Three days. Three days. And what did you break? No, draad alone and the black I remember building one of these when I was growing up, not quite as elaborate as this one is. And, you know, the fun thing about it is that you have to go to, like, the dump sites and whatever to find your material, because this is like spray cans that you use as, as tires and all of these little small pieces. I mean, look at that, those are bottle caps. So it's a little bit of looking after the environment as well and recycling all in one. To officially open the day, first a traditional quiet moment before the storm. All eyes are on the handful of preschoolers ready to hit the road. Let's go, Dratkar Grand Prix. <laughs> In the blink of an eye, it's all over for these little ones, but there's still a lot more to come. And here they come, as you can see. They never pass that. Absolutely amazing. It's a mad dash down a side street to catch up with the drivers. Just these guys are fast. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> this is around the church corner, as you can see, the guys are coming at a blistering speed. The one, is just, the one is just dragging his car behind <laughs> The Dratgar Grand Prix is the brainchild of local artist Kay Furee. The Dratgar is the only Dratgar Grand Prix in the world. Kay was looking for ways to address some of the socio-economic problems in the local community. Alcohol is broke, welm is broke, gangsterism, you name it. But it was net overweldigend. And toen ons besluit, kom ons 
kies één groep mensen, één ding in één dag in een jaar. The event was first held in 2013. The first year was underwhelming, but it's still good. Today, it's a celebration filled with colour and culture and a touch of chaos, bringing the entire community together. Met die eerste draadkaar was al letterlijk een kind se pa wat belangstel het en die kind bijgestaan het. En dit is nogal deel van die probleem. Ouders het nie genoeg energie om die kinders te ondersteun nie met die oor genoeg probleme van die eie. Maar dit weemel van die ouders. En paas maak die karre, oompies help met die karre, groot boeties help met die karre, meisies begin deelneem. Het is vir allemaal oor die meisies wat begin deelneem. It's midday and I am already finished. The excitement in this town is it's almost contagious, but I can't keep up. I'm glad they only do this once a year because, oh, I'm finished. <laughs> Perhaps what I need is lunch. Let's say Sarah's a roast cook is the best in Philip's town. Yeah. Who come? I don't know who come, but that is so good. But you don't have to eat. All the bread, you don't have to eat. What's the thing in the roast cook? It's like salt and water. So if you want to eat, it's like mint. Water, it's like you want to eat, but I don't like it. I have to eat one more. What are these little kebabies? Yes, they are the ones that are the ones. Yes. I'm going to say how it works, Hanna of Jona. 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 The kapenaars are coming with the fork. The bread is coming with the fork, it's still coming full. The kapenaars? And you? Yes, we are coming with the hand. With the hand. And there's no shortage of Karoo treats. They call it a little bit. They come here every year. 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 And we also make them a little bit. It's not a good thing. It's a sauce. But it's not a sauce. You made the sauce? Yes. No, no, no. Marriage material. Marriage material. Yeah. As the last drivers cross the finish line, some girls struck the stage to show off their recycled fashion. It's laughter and smiles all around. I can be verslaaf on the kinder's reaction. The opgewondenheid. Die uitdrukking op je gezicht is die involvement. Ik kan niet eindelijk gewoon raken aan die. Dit is wat het absoluut niet moeite waard maakt. The race champions and master builders walk away with trophies and sponsored prizes, but as is customary in this community, these will be shared by all the kids, because today, here in Philipstown. Everyone is a winner. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.